Welcome to another episode of Out of Stock. I'm up here, and today we have the Jordan 33. Kind of plain when you first see it, just white, but then you pull it down here and get this tab engineered for flight. Kind of like the Levi's tab right there, red. And then once you open it, and actually I've never seen the sticker like this. They changed it up for the 33. They got this little thin sticker strip. We have instructions on how to use the shoe as soon as you open it. This space age foiling. And then you got the shoe right here looking like a spaceship. This design is definitely a good term for Jordan brand and their signature line because I wasn't really feeling the 31 and 32 the past two seasons. Look wise, they're just not really my cup of tea. But this one, you actually look like you can wear this out as a lifestyle shoe too, even though it's purely a performance shoe. With the fast fit technology, you get this parachute cord right here. So it's supposed to be extremely durable. Look at Kind of like yanking on it right here. Uh, it feels like it'll hold up the seat. All right, and then it just tightens back up. All right, like that's not how you're supposed to do it, but you know I'm just messing with it right now. First time using it. One thing I noticed, this kind of gets caught right here when I eject. See, it gets caught a little bit, but you know you, it kind of wiggles back into place. Um, let me try it on feet real quick to see how it actually feels. I haven't even had a chance to put these on. Kind of hard to get on. Let me try to get these on. Oh. Oh, they're snug. Oh, this is really strong. So you know, the pull tabs on Kobe ADs that I recently tried out, they were horrible. They ripped as soon as I put them on. So, you know what? Kudos to Jordan Brand for making a strong shoe. Um, as soon as you put them on, make sure you use the pull tab. Oh, I don't know how long this will last though. But this parachute cord that they use for it seems durable enough. I'm sure they tested it out. But once it pops, you're not, you gotta get a brand new shoe. All right. Actually, I keep doing it wrong. I keep tightening this part first. So second part is to pull this, all right? There you go. Get it nice and snug. You feel, you feel it tightening up right here and on the sides. As far as lockdown on the back, since the shoe already feels so narrow, I feel like I'm locked in already without even tightening the shoe. I got, I keep stressing it. I gotta go have a size up with these, man. Oh my God. I can't even feel my feet now. It's like the circulation is like stopped because it's so tight. Um, and I'm not even playing with you guys. Like I haven't done a review where a shoe's been this tight. Um, all right, I gotta eject. I gotta eject both sides before I'll oh, see. And this cord kind of, all right, eject. All right, loosen it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I got eject. I got eject. All right. Oh, yeah. It keeps getting stuck. This eject cord right here. It keeps getting stuck. Ah, gotta get these off. Jeez. Oh. All right. Man, just initial on feet. Kind of too tight. I should have went half a size up. Other people have been saying go true to size or even half a size down. They run extremely narrow. Got the knit upper along with some new buck on the side right here, which I really like. I like the overall look of this shoe. Back heel, it's supposed to look like the Jordan 3, 4, 5, and 6 with this Nike Air. Tongue right there, Jordan 3, design cue. Can't remember last time I seen like black, red, and gold on the Jordan like signature, like first edition, like first colorway. All right, and then you get this huge tab right here. Actually, this kind of reminds me of the LeBrons. Yeah. Definitely reminds me of those LeBrons. All right, so we got the flight speed tech on this, the carbon plating system with some zoom air cushioning on the forefoot and the heel with the hex zoom right here. Um, overall of design of the shoe with the fast fit technology, gotta say it's one to cop. I'm actually surprised it's reselling right now. Um, there's definitely a lot of people interested in this model. Haven't seen that in a signature Jordan in a long time. I would have to go half a size up just to feel these out and kind of give you a better opinion on the way they feel. But you know, as soon as I put it on and pulled this cord, foot kind of fell asleep. But I'm gonna give it another shot because I really like this shoe and I'm waiting for another colorway to come out too. Um, the ones I've seen so far, they look decent. Um, I'm sure Jordan Brand's gonna come out with some exotic looks, but this initial first colorway of the shoe definitely fire, man. Gotta say, man, Jordan Brand, you did a good job bringing back some of the cues of the Jordan 3, but without making it, you know, 
tacky and try and make it look similar. Just little design cues, but then giving you hints of the old and bringing something brand new to the signature line. And I think they need to continue doing it because, you know, people have been feeling the Jordan 31s, 32s, not really my cup, but you know what? They did the Jordan 3 justice with this new 33 honoring the old. Fast fit technology. Kind of a big deal for Jordan brand. I I don't know if I, I don't know if they should stay with this, but for now, I think they should play around with it and keep it in. I think as far as like ballers, they will like this shoe just because it's just easy in, pull and go technology. Uh, regardless, tell me what you guys think of the shoe. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below, and I will catch you on the next episode.